before I got my experience with flying crop duster, I sprayed for 24 years and built up most of my flying time and every guy that ever flew always wanted a warbird and I happened to be one of the lucky few that was able to catch them back at the time when they were affordable. I just had to keep bugging him and bugging him until he let me and then I've been in it ever since. such famous plane. It actually flew in the Battle of Okinawa, where it was named the Angel of Okinawa. The plane, under the skillful hands of its pilot, shot down more kamikaze planes than any other in that battle. Today, the Angel, under the skillful hands of Merle Gustafson, performs aerial maneuvers for the pleasure of an air show crowd, far from the battlefields 30 years ago. Steve Gustafson is one of the pilots in the Aeroshell aerobatic flying team. Gustafson's late dad, Merle, was a crop duster and trick pilot himself from Tallulah. He taught me how to fly, and uh, he, was, he was rough on me, and, uh, and I'm thankful. So it takes a lot of dedication and a lot of practice and a, a lot of aerobatic time. Really nice, responsive, plenty of power. Really easy to fly. Lack of power is not ever going to be the problem with this thing. Very responsive, and it's a hell of an airplane, ain't no doubt about it. With the landing gear and flaps down, the big Corsair hangs on its prop in a simulated aircraft carrier landing approach. Low, slow, and dirty is what they call it. churns the air in front of the idling 2,000 horsepower monster of an engine. The angel taxis to the ramp of the small airport and folds its wings just as it did many times many years ago aboard the aircraft carrier that was its home. Folding the wings allowed the plane to take up less space, where space was a commodity at sea during the war. around the South really enjoy the shows put on by Merle in the Corsair. But most of all, they look forward to an exhibition of another of the country boys' planes, the North American AT-6. 